truly love to have in, in your life at the moment? What would you like above anything else? A four-legged animal. A four-legged animal. Well, you have here <laughs> the London Scotty Club has come to wish you happy birthday. The London Scotty Club has come to is wish there you... such a thing? There is now. Has come to wish you happy birthday with three jumbos. Ah! 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 You are so weird. That's Teddy. Teddy? Who are you? Judy. You're the owner of the club. I'm Josh. We're the dog owners. They're the dog owners of four oh, doggies. You are the most lucky people in yeah. the world. Come here. And this is Zelda. And yeah. this is Michael, and, and this is Jonathan. Joshua. Jo Joshua, 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 sorry, Joshua. Hello. But he loves people. A, 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 a jumbo club, a, a Scotty club? Scotty yeah. club, London, London Scotty club. There were 16 of them on Hampstead Heath last weekend. Okay. I'm Auntie Diddy's um, nephew and godson. My name's Clive Beecham. Little story that I always remember being told about... Um, Scotties and um, our family is. Our, our um, grandparents came over from Germany in, just before the war and um, Auntie Diddy would have come over when she was um, about 11 or so. And in those days when my grandparents arrived um, they used to take their jumbo or their Scotty um, shopping and my grandmother Omar she used to go to Sainsbury's and Sainsbury's in those days wasn't a supermarket. It was um, a shop where you bought cheese in one counter, meat in another counter, and other things elsewhere. And the British have a, an incredible propensity to queue. So my grandmother decided to take advantage of this, and she used to put her jumbo in one queue, while she went into the other queue. And the British, being British, never moved in front of the Scotty dog. So that was always a lovely tale that I remember about our family and Scotty's. Um, to the London Scotty Club, can I simply say that what you are doing here will have brought so much joy to my aunt because the things she pines for most of all are her jumbos, her Scotties. She's had five. She's desolate uh, because she can't obviously keep a, a dog anymore. Much rather have a dog than any human being going. And um, she will talk about this endlessly now. And uh, it's a wonderful thing that you've all done. Thank you very much. And then my mother got a cocker spaniel that lasted three <coughs> weeks, went back to the breeder, and we got another Scotty. We also, when I was growing up, I also had a Scotty. I was, I would have been, um, how old would I have been? Around 11, 10 or 11, and we got a Scotty because my mother had had a Scotty when she was a child, so we uh, got you, a you, are, you say you're a clap or a... Yes, we're a club. We just only, Dolly is a puppy. And we joined the club about six months ago. A Scotty, so, Scotty club. Scotties, and I had three, one after the other, and they were all called Jumbo. Jumbo one, Jumbo two, and Jumbo three. Why? It was known in the family Jumbo is a Scotty. My <laughs> parents had three already, and when they passed, I carried on, and I had three but never all together, one at a time. After one died, I had another one. Um, how old were you when you got your first Scotty? I must have been in my teens, I'm sure. We always, as long as I can remember, we had Scotties, my parents first, and then I carried on. And, and did your parents call them Jumbo as well? All Jumbos, Jumbo, <laughs> Jumbo. My parents had three, one after the other. And they were jumbo was one, the first two, three. one in Germany or in England? No, in Germany we had a dackel. A dackel? A dackel, a dachshund, which was called Inca. Ah. And it was a, a little bitch. When she had pups, they were all distributed amongst the family, Incas. But in England, we had only Scotties. Gosh. Wonderful. Do you and have no, a favourite? Do you remember a favourite one? They are. A dog is a dog. And they are the most sincere and loyal thing you can have. Dogs are never cross with you. They don't argue with you. They don't tell you off. They love you for who you are. That's 
whether you're black or white, whether you're Catholic or Jew, doesn't matter. You are a human being, and that's what they love. Can't get away from it. But Jesus came. Happy birthday to you. Got to blow. Huh? Blow the candle. Again. And Auntie Diddy, 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 uh, just say what today means for you with all these Scotties here. Everything. Everything. They're my life, my thoughts. A dog is more sincere, more loyal than any human being can be. No doubt about it. They're the best thing to have as a friend, uh, uh, more than anything else. Dogs. It's absolutely true. I wouldn't, if I could, I certainly would have another one. But as I can't walk them, what's the point? I have to get somebody to walk them every day. But I love and adore them. Wonderful. And you got three today. So I hope you're happy with that. I'm not happy, I'm very lucky. Oh. This one, this one is amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah.